So Loic, most people know who you are, but if you could introduce yourself really quickly and what Seismic has become today. Je m'appelle Loic and I am a founder and CEO of Seismic. Uh, I am based in San Francisco. I'm a serial entrepreneur, serial like for the breakfast, <laughs> breakfast cereal. And I, I Seismic helps you manage your brand, whether you're it's your own like personal brand or if it's uh, for you know corporate a company uh, on social networks so you can uh, build it engage with your community and manage all the flow from up to 50 social networks and we do that on um, desktop Mac and PC on the web on iPhone and Android mm-hmm. Blackberry Windows Phone 7 you name it and uh, and uh, we solve this problem that if you want to be really good at social networks, you have to be in all those places. Right. And so you started off as more of a B2C oriented company and now you're going a little more enterprise, correct? No, a little more. <laughs> a well, more. yeah, we figured out that half our users were uh, corporate users, corporate being also like business users, also small businesses. And so we, uh, it was very difficult to go both consumer and, you know, focus on both. So we decided to go for the business users. And that doesn't mean we will shut down the free and so on, so we'll keep everything for free. It's just that everything we build as of now, mm-hmm. we're much more focused on the on the pros. And so we've announced a partnership with Salesforce, a uh, leader in enterprise, uh, Mark Binyov being my new uh, my new uh, sensei in Japanese, my new uh, my new coach. <laughs> That's only we're pushing it. But anyway, he invested. So Salesforce invested right. four million dollars along with SoftBank to to help this transition and introduce us to all our customers. Sure. Awesome, right? And so we're integrating Chatter, uh-huh. which you should try if you haven't. It's like Facebook, but in your organization. Right. It's free, chatter.com. Uh, I'm turning into my hat of a Salesforce person now. <laughs> and uh, Salesforce sales guy. Yeah. And uh, it's great. And so now you have um, your, your stream of information coming from and to Twitter and Facebook mm-hmm. and others, LinkedIn and your internal conversation, which is great. It's very addictive. My whole right. company uses it. Yeah, we, we only communicate on that now. So right. it's great. Right. It's become the back channel, like the coffee machine conversation <laughs> happens there. Fantastic. Plus for serious stuff too. But the use case is so varied. Like as a CEO, I can see what's happening in my company life. That's sure. one. I can see if I, if I see someone like as a lead to do a partnership, I can, I can buff post on chatter about him and also see context around him on Twitter and Facebook and mm-hmm. LinkedIn, so it's great. And also the third kind of use case is if um, if you are doing support like we do on Twitter, if you reply, we reply to you, mm-hmm. you need to be able to take the feedback like from Twitter, take it internally, right. deal with it, reply to the customer. So we're building a button which is sent to chatter, just mm-hmm. one button, right. which will be very cool. Fantastic. Um, so UB France, we work with a lot of B2C companies, but we also work with a lot of B2B. Are there differences that you notice in terms of having to market your product to companies as opposed to yeah. the you general need, public? Well, yeah. Well, you need a sales force, for example. Yeah. So we, we have three biz dev people now. Mm-hmm. Um, more than on consumer, where it's more like, you know, an advertising play and word of mouth and Right. So yeah, you need to, you know, and it's great. You know, I've been doing that in my previous company. So I was at there last week for two days. Sure. And so we start to talk to customers. So that's that's probably a big difference. It's also different marketing, I guess. Yeah. Which honestly, I'm figuring out, which is cool. I have like new eyes on a space I don't really know, like the enterprise the corporate space, but yeah. uh, it's not that different. So yeah, it's different marketing, I would say. Okay. Do you but you know, it helps us a lot to be so strong, for example, on... Like consumers kicked our butts so much on the quality of the products. Mm-hmm. Like it's amazing. We get a mention of Sismic like, I mean, I don't know, twice per minute on Twitter. And so each, each time it's a suggestion, it's feedback. So we get like, a, we got, I think, really good mobile products right. thanks to the feedback we got on mobile mm-hmm. from consumers. And with that now applied to enterprise makes us very strong because there aren't that many companies who have four mobile clients with such quality and we make a big difference. That's what we hear on the market. You're like, wow, we like you guys, but there is a reason why we really, really like you is your mobile clients. Interesting. And we built them because we were consumer. Okay, okay. And do you think it would be possible to have your same success? A lot of French companies ask us if they can be headquartered in France and approach these companies and clients and partners in the US. Do you think it's possible or does the CEO have to come here? <laughs> you're gonna 
have me put my hat of uh, you should move here again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, you should move here. No, it's uh, it's difficult. There is a um, it's like when you're in Paris, right? Uh, you're you're from Paris or you're not from Paris. You know, right. you don't ha you don't go to the same circles. You don't go to the same lunches. You're not getting invited to the same dinners. You know, you know, it's like you're there or you're not there. And right. I, I felt that very much when I was in Paris. I feel that very much when I'm here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like, but there is a made in Silicon Valley or in Silicon Valley or not, right? right. And that's uh, definitely uh, great if you're here because you can go, like I did three days ago, I was at Twitter and I take my car 10 minutes away, you know, I'm there, right? Sure. And I, I visit uh, Facebook, same, right? Yeah. Google and so on, so we're in touch, it's like a campus. Yeah. You know, it's like you're in a university, you're, it's like Stanford except for business, you know, it, it goes from San Jose to Palo Alto, to, right. uh, to San Francisco via Palo Alto, it's, it's a whole campus. And you're, if yeah. you're not from there, it's a bit different. Yeah. People don't treat you the same. And so that's, uh, and also you don't like, you're not connected the same way. You don't get your, like this morning I had lunch, a breakfast with Cloud, the CEO of Cloud, which mm -hmm. is a very cool influence company. Right. You know, it's like we're neighbors. So we're going to yeah. do more together just because we're neighbors. Right. We know that we live nearby and we, you know, we like each other. So yeah. human relationships walk by, uh, even with all that online stuff, it walks by, um, being close to each other as well. So yeah, I would definitely advise the CEO to move here if it's not so popular. Otherwise, at least having an office right. here or spending six months here. I don't know. Yeah. Um, another thing we work a lot with our companies on is adapting them to American business culture and some of the rules of doing business here versus in France. What would be your number one piece of advice to companies looking to build relationships with you know, Google, Microsoft? What's the etiquette? Oh, it's very easy. Bring value. Yeah. Very easy. You know, the reason, you know, how we, how we got so great relationships with Salesforce, which mm -hmm. is, again, leader in enterprise and it's very US, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's by uh, providing value. So we yeah. built this uh, plugin. We built, you know, Salesforce integrated to Android while they don't even have an Android client yet. Right. All of that, they notice, you know, bring value. Very easy. You know, but that doesn't, it's not American specific, right? Right. But uh, that's a good way to do it. Um, and uh, then I would say that the culture, one of the cultural differences, you, you, if you ask for a meeting, you really need to have a point and why, right. and don't bother people if it's just to like, in France, you do much more like, hey, let's catch up, you know, right. whatever. And here it's like, yeah, well, why? Right. And <laughs> yeah. that's okay, right? And if there is no why, probably people won't like to spend the time with you. And that's fine, fair enough. Yeah. You know, what's the point? I think a lot of So our that's, you know, more like, you know, there is no two hour lunch. Right. You know, very rare. <laughs> it's more like a half an hour, 15 minutes sandwich. But yeah, yeah it's, you know, uh, different, much more results oriented. Right. Great. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Uh, and good luck with helping all of us companies. Thank you, Loic. <laughs>